Welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at true bearings and uh, we're going to be looking at some problems involving true bearings later on as well. Now what is a true bearing? Well it's just an angle measured from uh, north uh, in a clockwise direction. Now the north is actually uh, the north on your compass okay, uh, and which is as you know probably different from the geographic north. Okay I think they're about uh, about I think 800 kilometers apart or something like that at the moment. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to be measuring some angles just to start with. Just have a quick look at what, uh, what some examples of bearings. Okay, so um, let's actually bring this uh, protractor in a little bit. And you can see on the outside we've got uh, the angles measured around. And we're going to be just uh, well, working on what these uh, bearing lines are, these uh, black, blue, purple and green lines. These are bearing lines. Okay, so the first thing is uh, what do we do? Well we are we're going to be uh, measuring around okay and you can see here that's 50 okay uh, 50 degrees from true north and uh, so that bearing will be 0, 5, 0, 3 digits uh, usually uh, associated with a true bearing. Okay, now if we uh, keep going, let's keep going here we are, down to the blue bearing line. Now you can see, <clears throat> hopefully you might be able to see that that's 13140. So uh, that bearing line will be one. Uh, you can see here 140 degrees true. Okay, let's keep going. Around to the purple. Okay, and what's that? That's about 225. Okay, so. 225. Okay, so it's a little bit off. Um, I might be able to just adjust it so it is actually 225. Okay, there we are. So this bearing you can see here, that purple line is 225 degrees true. And let's continue marching around. Here we go to the green bearing line. And you can see here that's about 305. Okay. That's on the 305 degrees bearing line. Now, okay, so these um, measured, these angles you can see here, are measured in a clockwise direction from uh, true north, okay, which will be the compass north. Okay, uh, let's actually go into GeoGebra now and have a quick look at some problems. Well, okay, here we have uh, GeoGebra. We've got uh, some points A. I'll just move A around here. B, uh, this over here, and C over here. Okay, all right. Now we obviously uh, in problems involving uh, uh, true bearings. We normally will be sailing from say port A to port B, and then uh, from B to C, and then back, back, maybe back to C, back to A. Or we might need to find the distances. Obviously, we're going to have to use a bit of trigonometry. Uh, okay. So basically, let's actually have a quick look. Okay, so obviously we've got the north lines are all parallel. That's one of the great things about the north lines. Now, so, uh, okay, so this 52, just now we'll have a look at this later on, but that 52.56.2 there will be 56.2 here. These will be alternate angles, okay. Okay, so, okay, this one here, it, this is the, okay, the bearing of B, okay, from A, you can see here is 50. 6.2 degrees. Okay, this angle coming around here. This is a bearing of B, right, from A. Right. Now about the, the bearing of A from B. Okay, now the bearing you can see here, okay, the bearing of A, uh, A over here, from B here, is this one coming around here. It's from north right around, it's about 236.2 degrees. Okay. Let's go over here now to B. Okay, what is the bearing of C from B? Now, of C from B, you can see here it's a little uh, purple angle in there, 135.84. But that is the bearing of C down here, C, from B. So it's at uh, this one in, in here. Okay, so we've got some uh, angles occurring here. Okay, so that is the bearing of C from B, uh, that one there. Okay, now. It's okay. Well, how about the bearing of B from C? Well, okay, you can see it over here. 
I think it's about 315.84 degrees. That, that is the bearing of B from C. Okay, so it's along that line there going that way. But we have to go around, right around here, about 315.84 degrees. Okay. Okay, finally, what about uh, the bearing of A from C? Now, the bearing of A from C is, uh, I don't know whether you can see, it's that little that purple one in there. It's 271.18 degrees true, this one over here. So this one here. So it's from north right around to that dot blue line there, which is travelling back to A. Okay, and how about the bearing of C from A? Okay. You can see here, it's uh, basically the bearing of C over here from the point A here. So it's coming on that purple line there. Okay, um, we've got some segments coming occurring in GeoGebra here, but basically it's 91.18. Obviously now we can change this obviously all around, and uh, as you can see, all these things, all these angles will be changing. And uh, but it's just a matter of that um, if we um, let's put, try and put it back over here roughly. In, Okay, where things are. Okay, but you can see here that the bearing is obviously relative to where you are. Okay, um, and let's put these a little bit, try and line them up a little bit. But it's very important to try and work out what angles, and you'll see later on we've got a lot of alternate angles because all the norths are parallel, so we have a lot of uh, alternate angles occurring. Okay. Uh, just uh, this one, 62, would be 62 in here. You can see here, we, we know this bearing is what, 155 degrees true. So we know this angle in here, okay, would be what to make up 180 because we know the north-south line is a straight line. So that would be what, uh, uh, 25 degrees would make up 180. So 25 in here, it would be 25 in there as well. So all these ideas uh, about alternate angles will be very useful in problem solving. Okay, let's actually have a look at some problems now. Well, we can do now apply some of the ideas of uh, true bearings to a true bearing problem. This is exercise one, and let's quickly just go through it. Uh, there's some obviously important information. We sail from port A to port B to port C. We're going to have to find uh, the distance AC to the nearest kilometer, and we're going to have to find the bearing of port A from port C. So the important information obviously is the bearings we are travelling on for 30 kilometres, uh, 070 towards B, port B. And then when we get to port B, we head off at another, obviously, uh, slightly different bearing, uh, um, back in the other direction actually, 210 degrees true uh, for 40 kilometres to port C. And then we're going to have to find, um, if you like, we, we need to find basically uh, how far it is from C to port A, so we need to find the distance uh, C A, and we also need to find the bearing. So this is it's a bearing and also a distance uh, of A to C, or of, of port A from port C. Okay, so let's actually just have a quick look in GeoGebra what this looks like. Okay, here we have GeoGebra, and you can see um, we've got a 70 degree bearing, we start off from A, go to B, and then go to C on the 210 bearing here. 210. Now, the tricky bit is obviously to find what angle, that, uh, I've already put it in as 40, but why is it 40? Well, the first thing is that uh, we know that it's 210 right around, and uh, if you look at the like north to J, that's a straight line, so it's 180. So we go 30 degrees past 180 to get to that bearing from B to C. Okay, so this bearing is 30 degrees past 180 at 210. Okay, we also know that uh, since the norths are parallel, uh, that that 70 blue 70 there and this blue 70 are alternate angles; they're equal. So we know that basically the remaining we've got uh, 30 plus what is 70, so we know it's 40. So we know that angle there, angle B, if you like, is 40 degrees, and that's one of the things we uh, very important when we use the cosine rule. We need that included angle, and we are, we are going to have to find this other angle down here, um, this angle A C B eventually, and we don't know the bearing, which is unknown. You can see here, so um, X is uh, our first uh, priority. And then we'll find our uh, angle here to find our bearing. Okay. Well, okay, here we are back uh, with the exercise. Now, um, because of the orientation, I'm, I'm using uh, this variety, if you like, uh, 
uh, here you know, b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b okay which is just uh, because of the orientation x is here where the b is we are uh, a is here this is angle a we don't know angle b uh, we do know actually um, we do know that's 40 degrees so let's pop that in that's 40 degrees uh, side a is 40 we don't know what this angle down here is at the moment which we're going to need later on but let's just find x to start with okay so if b is equal to x then we know that x squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cos b and in terms of numbers let's have a quick look what that means well x squared this one here squared is equal to this one squared plus that one squared minus two times this one times that one times the cosine of the included angle 40. okay we work all this out we get x squared, it's about 661 point something. And to the nearest kilometer, okay, x is about 26 kilometers. Okay, so we now found x. Okay, so we're well on the way. Well, okay, we're going to now try and find that angle C. And you can see here, I've actually marked it with a theta here, down here. Okay, so how do we find that angle? Well, since we've got all the three sides, we can actually use the cosine rule again if we wanted to. Uh, I'm going to use the sine rule, okay, for a bit of a change. Sine B on B equals sine C on C. Now, this is for the angle, so you might remember you can do it, uh, do it the other way around as well. So, uh, so what are we going to have? Well, uh, here we have like sine 40. So we've got sine B, angle B is 40. Sine 40 on its opposite side, which is 26, is equal to sine C, which is theta. We're going to start sine theta on 30. And then we uh, just cross multiply uh, 26 sine theta equals 30 sine 40, then divide by 26 and end up eventually getting that to the nearest degree that this angle here is actually 48 degrees. Okay. Well, okay, what have we done? Well, we found this angle down here is uh, at C is actually 48 degrees. Uh, we know that it's 26 over here. Uh, we know 30. Uh, and 40 but we want to find the bearing okay um, of a which is over here a from c down here now how do we do that well basically we have to i'll just put some true norths in we just again use this idea of um, if you like uh, as an alternate angles now you might remember this little one in here was 30 degrees i don't know whether you remember that but that was 30 and 40 made a uh, you know that the 70 you know, this angle here 70 which is alternate to the angle here from true north around there okay so we know that's 30 so we know that these true north lines are parallel so we also know this is 30 in here but we know the total angle at c is actually 48 so really we have 18 degrees oh, it looks a bit bigger than 18 but this ang this remaining part of the angle is actually 18 and you might remember the bearing is actually from north right around to this line here, AC. And uh, so that's basically 360 minus 18. So the bearing of A from C, so the bearing line is actually 340 degree, 42 degrees true. Okay, well, thank you for watching and bye for now.